when one of the African countries is allegedly celebrating its new status as a debt-free nation, Nigeria, that is the agenda of Africa, is still deepening itself in its debt liability. Who do all this thing? I rise this afternoon to second the motion ably moved by my chairman for the consideration of the report. I so second. Thank you. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is our date. Well, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gist TV, and the Nigerian House of Representatives have approved the Tenable loan for the sum of $2.2 billion, equivalent of $1.77 trillion Naira external loan um, pushing on to the 2024 appropriation bill. Now, it is said that this loan. Uh, will be used for infrastructural and developmental activities for long-term economic sustainability. Not me today we started to hear this kind of gist, all this kind of story. Not me today we started to hear this kind of things from government. So they go do this one, they go use this one, do this one, and then at the end of the day we don't see anything as such. Yes, uh, the truth is that the people of Nigeria have actually lost trust in the government that anything now the government come out now call talk say they won't do the people will not believe until they actually see the government start doing it that is the state you are in right now so the government is saying that they need this money for this the people are not believing that because what you've been experiencing over the time over time is filled promises filled legacies and just talks no action nothing nothing to see that this is what the government is doing for the benefit of the people actually now it is not bad to borrow borrowing is not bad because there's something called good debt when you borrow and then you use the money for investment and then the investment yields a return and out of that you're able to pay back the the, the debt that is good debt um, but we also have bad debts and that is what we'll be expressing in Nigeria where you borrow and there's no plan to pay back you just borrow for the sake of borrowing and there is no um, lay down system for using the money investing the money and then trying to get a payback from that that is the what we've been expressing in Nigeria now I earlier said that an African country is allegedly celebrating its new status as a debt-free nation. Actually, that is not true. Even though it trended on the internet for um, for some days ago, it trended that Niger Mali is Mali is now a debt-free nation. That is actually not true. As a matter of fact, the statement from the minister from its minister of finance was that Mali is planning to pay up its internal debts emphasis on internal debt now there are still external debt i believe internal debt are the debt that was incurred internally within the nation maybe from corporations or maybe from uh, money lenders or whatever at all you grab now there may also be external debt maybe from international organizations or banks or like the international monetary fund or from international um countries now what money has said it's gonna pay out it's its internal debt so it is false to assume that money is not debt free however if it can pay its internal debt then there is hope that it can pay off its external debt too but in nigeria waiting we study nothing we have not paid our internal debts and we are deepening our liability on our external debt like it is it is bad well, guys, I want to hear your thoughts about this in the comment section. Would you I, would you trust the government that this money they are borrowing now will be used for economic sustainability, as it is said, or um, it should be one of those things? Money just come, money go, no accountability. What do you think? I'm waiting for your thoughts in the comment section. See you next time.